What's good YouTube? This video will go over a tutorial on all the accessibility features available for your iPhone. The accessibility features on your iPhone make it easier to see, hear, and interact with your iPhone. If you like this kind of content, or if you have any specific accessibility features that you would like to go into, leave a message down below. Hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching. We'll go into detail on some of the features, but some of them are quite in-depth, like voiceover. So we'll save the in-depth feature walkthrough for another video. Right now, we'll just take a general look at all the individual features that you have available to you in accessibility mode. So to start things off, we'll see how we actually access the accessibility features on your iPhone. What you want to do to get started is to head over to your settings app. From the settings app, what you want to do is scroll down until you see general. And in the same grouping as general, if you scroll down just a little bit further, you'll see accessibility mode. Hit, hit the accessibility features. The first feature that you see at the top of the accessibility menu is of course voiceover. VoiceOver contains some pretty robust features on the iPhone, where it actually dictates out loud everything that's on your screen. This includes all text and every time you hit a menu item or change the controls. The touch controls are read out loud on your iPhone, and you essentially have an audio version of your touch screen and what exactly is going on on your screen. There's numerous tweaks and options available in VoiceOver, and it's quite a well-developed feature. So we'll go into some of these features in another video. You might want to check some of them out, particularly if you have trouble seeing your screen. Going back to the accessibility menu, the next feature we have available is, of course, Zoom. Zoom magnifies the screen on your iPhone and allows you to read things a lot more easily. It's harder to see the entire screen, however, it does help if you are reading small text frequently. You can turn on or off zoom with the toggle at the top of the, of the zoom menu, and you can use the horizontal slider at the bottom of the zoom menu to adjust how much the zoom on your iPhone screen that you're having. The next feature available is Magnifier. Magnifier is essentially an app available on base for your iPhone that allows you to use the iPhone camera to magnify things around you. So if you've always wanted to do this and utilize the digital zoom on your iPhone to help see your surroundings, Magnifier is perfect for you. Going back to the accessibility menu, the next option available is of course display and text size. Here you can change the various readouts on the typography of the iPhone to make it more legible and readable. There are things like having all the text bold, having larger text, and increasing the contrast of text and also turning on auto brightness. So if you use your iPhone a lot for reading, you might wanna tweak some of these features available to you in display and text to make reading on your iPhone a little bit easier. Next, we have motion. Motion reduces some of the animations available, like the parallax of home screen icons. This is here just in case you have some trouble or nausea when there's ever motion or too much going on on your screen. The next feature available in accessibility mode is spoken content. Spoken content allows you to select text on your screen and this text will be read out loud. This is quite a cool feature, particularly if you do a lot of studying on your iPhone. It's actually well developed from Apple as well as you can change things like the voice and of course the speaking rate and pronunciation of the spoken content. The next feature is quite a good one and you'll want to take a quick look into some of the features available for you in touch in accessibility mode. Touch, you can enable things like assistive touch. Assistive touch is a small menu that appears anywhere on your iPhone screen and you can add quick shortcuts that allow you to quickly navigate your phone. It also is a way of adding a virtual home button to your iPhone that allows you to go back home without using the iPhone home swipe feature. You can also turn on reachability mode, which of course is the one one-handed operation of the iPhone that you can use by swiping down on the screen. 
Next is haptic touch, where you can change the duration of haptic touch from fast or slow if you have trouble registering a haptic touch with the iPhone. After that is touch accommodations. Touch accommodations allows you to change how long in terms of milliseconds the iPhone uses for a given tap on the iPhone screen. So if you have trouble navigating your iPhone or using touch on your iPhone, you might want to adjust these milliseconds so that you can use the iPhone more easily. Next is tap to wake. Tap to wake of course is toggled on and this allows you to wake your phone simply by tapping on the screen. Vibration, of course, turns off all eye vibration on your iPhone. So if you don't like this phone shaking in your pocket, you can turn it off on all features on your iPhone with this toggle. Going back, after touch, you have face ID and attention. Attention aware is when the iPhone will be able to sense when you're looking at the iPhone prior to dimming the display or having notifications show up on successful authentication is when your iPhone shakes after Face ID successfully registers your face. This works on Apple Pay, iTunes, and of course the App Store as well. Next we have Switch Control. Switch Control is quite a cool accessibility feature where the iPhone will go up and down on the screen and toggle all the menus and toggles that are available. You can use a adaptive accessory to toggle whichever the Switch Control is going over or you can tap on the iPhone screen as well. After that we have side button. Here you can change how fast you have to click the side button in order to register a click. You can also change the function of the side button. By default it's for Siri. You can also use the side button to enable classic voice control or turn off this feature altogether. After side button you have keyboards. From here you can turn on external keyboard like a Bluetooth keyboard to control your iPhone. The next accessibility feature that we have is audio and visual. In audio and visual, there's some very useful features. Here you can actually adjust the balance of the speakers on your iPhone or the headphones connected to your iPhone from left or right. You can also turn on headphone notifications and turn on model audio as well. You can also turn on headphone accommodations. Headphone accommodations works for certain headphone accessories like the AirPods that are available for the iPhone. Here you can adjust things like having a balanced tone and tuning the audio for vocal range or brightness and also optimizing the headphone readout from soft sounds to strong sounds as well. Next we have Siri. In the Siri menu you can enable Siri. Type to Siri of course will listen for voice input when you press and hold the side button. Voice feedback is when Siri will speak when it's, it's prompted to, and this can be enabled when silent mode is off or when you say, hey Siri. You can also turn off the always listen for the hey Siri on your iPhone as well. So if you don't like your iPhone listening for hey Siri, or if there's other sounds that you have in your environment that are similar to hey Siri, you can turn this off as well. So there you have it everyone, just a quick rundown of the accessibility features of your iPhone. These features have come a long way and Apple has obviously put a lot of time and effort in developing some of the more advanced features of the accessibility options available on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.